Welcome back to our farming game. Today we are at this point right here where we can go through and plant seeds. And after a while, after just a little bit, they grow into little carrots. And then we can go through and harvest them and we get carrots. So we have the carrots up here in the upper right. And today's just gonna be a short little episode in uh, kind of starting the idea of an inventory. And I think we're just gonna do it with just some some items up here uh, without kind of having a pop-up inventory. We'll probably do one of those eventually, but for now, we're just gonna put a little bit of logic in here and we're gonna make it so that we can't just plant as many seeds as we want. We're actually limited for the amount of seeds that we have, okay? So right now, anytime that we press X, pretty much we can plant a seed or harvest a carrot. So instead, let's start with a certain amount of seeds. And so let's just, for inventory, let's just say seeds equals, um, let's do nine. Let's do nine seeds to start out with. And then when we go here to plant our seeds, this part right here is plant seeds on blank tiles. So let's only do this if we have any seeds. So if seeds is greater than zero, then, then do all of this. So we're just wrapping what we did here in an if, and we're gonna make sure we take one away from seeds, seeds minus equals one. And so now this should run if I hit save and run, and now we're getting a error. And this is really weird because sometimes you'll get an error that doesn't make any sense. So this is says trying to get the length of local C, and I've tracked this down to where it says seeds here. If I make this seeds like this, save and run, it gives me an error. If I change this to seed, save, run, doesn't give me an error. So I'm just gonna say seed, seed like this, save and run. If I make this into seed, then there's no problem. And it took me a while to realize this, but the reason for that is because I already have a variable named seeds, which we're setting here in nature's way. Seeds is my table of seeds. So right now we'll just call this seed. We should probably rename this to something. But for now, this will totally work. Uh, it, it might be a good idea to change this to like packets and, or maybe change this one from seeds to, you know, growing crops or something like that, maybe crops. But we'll do that in a future video. And now I should only be able to plant nine seeds here. Yeah, so I can't plant any more. So we're limiting the seeds that are available. All right, so we have nine seeds available. Great, and now I can harvest these. And let's go ahead and add a seed when we harvest as well. So here, when we say harvest, let's just say seed plus equals one. So we get seeds back when we harvest. All right, so we get those back and then we can plant more seeds, which works great. So now let's actually show what's happening. So in this inventory, we're going to do a similar thing here. This is drawing our carrots. Let's do draw seed. And we're gonna pick a different Sprite for our seed packet here, which is Sprite 19. So we're gonna say Sprite 19. And we're gonna bring this over a lot. Let's say like, I don't know, 84 maybe. And we're gonna do seed. And this is gonna be 92-ish, something like that. Save, run. And so now we have our seed packet up here, but we're going to print the amount of seeds we have. Not 192, regular 92. There we go. Let's make it a little bit, give it a little bit of space there. Okay, so we have nine seeds and we're drawing the seeds here, the amount of seeds that we have here in the upper left. Up here in the upper right, we'll get seeds that way. We can also harvest these that I already have on the map to get more seed. Alrighty, and we're growing. Cool. So now we're getting more seed just by planting them. And now we have a, now we have a little system where we can kind of multiply our crops and kind of keep going. And it would actually be nice to have a little bit more seed that we get if we grab a carrot. Let's just say, let's say we get two seeds for each carrot. We'll probably change this around, balance it, that kind of thing. But for now, we could start by planting nine carrots and normally we'll have those just grow and then we'll have more seeds we can put down here. So now every time that we harvest a carrot, we get two seeds. So now we can plant a little more in our little crop garden here. See what we're doing? Kind of neat. All right, I'm gonna take away this debug right here because we don't need that. So we'll just go back to our main thing. Let's not print all of our crops. And then let's also go to our map and let's not draw these either. Let's get rid of all of these little patches. Maybe add a little bit more grass here. Save and run. And now we're just in a blank space and we can plant seeds as long as we have seeds. 
and then we'll have to wait for it to grow so that we can get more seeds so that we can harvest carrots. And yeah, I think that's a pretty solid start. What should we do next? What's the next step here? I think we could totally do just icons up here for the inventory if we're keeping it really simple. We could have a pop-up inventory. I don't know how valuable that is. But what's next? Should we try and sell the carrots? Should we incorporate some kind of money system? Should we work on other vegetables? Should we have to water them? Let me know in the comments, okay? Thanks so much for watching. I hope this inspires you and I would love to see anything that you're making, feel free to drop a link in the description. Feel free to tell me about it. And if you're a student in my Pico 8 Noob to Pro course, I definitely wanna see what you're working on. Thanks for hanging with me. Let me know what you wanna see next in this little farming game and I'll catch you later.